Okay, so this is the Makor, getting ready to run these panels through. Basically, you lay up a, a 4x10 sheet of MDF or aluminum wafer board. Um, the machine has an eye sensor here that senses when the material can start and stop, so it knows when to stop spraying to start spraying. You have three different pumps here. These are all brand new Kremlin pumps, and then you have a fourth one for like a cleaning agent you run lacquer through. Uh, we have the, this comes with all the actuators. We're running, our shop runs ML Campbell products, but you know, you get Mohawk or Sherman Williams. Right now we're running Magnus Sand. We're doing a Magnus Claw, it's a primer. And then I believe it's a top coat, Magnamax, a Magnamax top coat. So we have a production primer, a production sealer, and a uh, top coat that we're running through the machine right now. The way you change out what you want to uh, spray is on this gauge right here. So he's just turning it now to sealer. Uh, so you have, you can see one, two, three, uh, three different things you can run. And then the uh, top one there would be for, uh, to clean it out. So what he's gonna do now is just close the lid. It sucks down the fumes from, the, from below here. And then evacuates them out the top and out, outdoors. So he's gonna start the machine now, okay? So he just started it, that's going back and forth. The board started, so you notice he'll start spraying. That sensor found the edge of the board when it went through. So the first two of four heads will start spraying now. You can adjust the mill thickness of what you're spraying. Now the sec, the other heads, yep, there they go, they, they're starting. Basically that's gonna run it right through. You see it's taking it on the conveyors. The machine will come with these four boards, uh, four racks rather. The machine is designed to have racks on both sides of it. So you can see because the space that we have here this is the reason why we're selling the machine. We don't, we're just too confined to a space of this old concrete building, the columns. So we only can use one rack at a time. So you have a laser fence here and here, and this rack, they're all wheels, so it loads up the rack. And then you pull the racks down and put a new one in. Um, so you have a spot for the rack on the left side, a spot for the right side, but we can't use the right because obviously we can't pull it up because of the concrete wall. So you have this second laser fence here. This laser fence is active, so I can't, if I go in there now, I'll shut the machine down. It's just about finishing spraying up now. So you have seven spots you can rack off. And this is gonna place it in the open rack there, you can see. So it's gonna come through and finish spraying. We have MDF sheets, but you can, the aluminum wafer sheets are a lot lighter and stable, a lot less weight as well. Doesn't really matter. The machine does all the lifting. So it racks that one off and it should grab the next sheet. So this one it got a sealer coat uh, earlier this morning or yesterday. Today's December 9th. 2020. Send it back through. Basically, that's it. The hydraulic pump here, the scissor lift. Four racks come with it. They're forty-five hundred dollars each. And it sends it back through here. Operator can scuff the boards and send it back through. The way this is designed to work is you would just feed through, and then you pull out a full rack. You 
can put that into uh, a drying room or just you can pull it out and then while you're pulling that one out you're loading up seven more sheets to your second rack and doing your scuffing sanding putting an empty tray so that way you're just sending through um, and you don't have to wait for the recall but unfortunately the way the constraints of our building is we have to send it through and recall it so it makes it slightly slower doing it that way uh, but there it is.